So, hey guys, what's your opinion about Uber Suggest as a tool? What up, Neil Patel? Is it good, great, or just there? I have never used it, really. So. Uh, yeah, I've actually never used it in a serious way. I've only um, I've played around with it for a little bit, um, but it, 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 it didn't really have anything that... Yeah, I'll go ahead and pull it up. So yeah, Uber Suggest is... Um, Neil Patel's uh, keyword research tool. Um, yeah. So let's enter a keyword. Um, I don't know, Denver SEO. But yeah, I think like I, from what I remember before, my my feelings on it were that it looked really good. It was really it pretty. Clean. Yeah, yeah, it's very clean, very well done. But it was just like a bunch of stuff I didn't need. Well, see, and like the main stuff like SEO difficulty, I'm willing to bet. I mean, we could probably show, but not rely on that. Um, what else do they have here? And then I wonder if their Oops. search, vol like how accurate their search volume is. We should compare it to... Um, what happened? I clicked on the... The keyword difficulty and it exploded the page. You messed it up. All right, getting back to Denver SEO. So yeah, search volume with this graph, which I mean, okay. I guess it's kind of cool if you're working with a, a niche or whatever that the the volume's changing over time, or like a seasonal thing, or an emerging term or something. Um, generally not something I really look at. Um, so the graph is pretty and stuff. I just, it's unnecessary for me. Um, keyword ideas, of course, uh, keyword ideas are cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can, you can, I, I prefer to use something like keywords everywhere and you can just get the keyword ideas like right on your Google browser rather than having to use Neil's, uh, little thing right here. So basically, and then here it's got content ideas. Um, I'm not really sure what this is. Maybe it's just top ranking pages. Mm -hmm. I'm not really sure. But yeah, so it's got like all this stuff in a very pretty way, which I feel like if you were to actually just look at the uh, actual SERP itself and maybe uh, turn on keywords everywhere. Uh, yeah, I mean, so here's the search volume thing, which looks to have a lot more data here. Um, I don't use that anyway, really. We've got a bunch more related keywords. Um, and you also get to look at the SERP itself, which I think is probably the most valuable information, right? Mm. Uh, looking at the actual like URLs and the titles and the metas right here on the page, I feel is um, definitely like the most one of the most powerful things you can look at in keyword research. So I like it all to be right here. Is Uber suggest completely free? Uh, they have a Do paid have option. Um, okay. No, I guess not. So yeah, they've got some, they've got some like paid, uh, things. I'm not really sure what the, but thing. I guess if you're using this, right, let's say you're trying to do it at zero cost, your mm -hmm. keyword research, then at least the search volume is accurate on Uber suggest. Um, Are they the same? yeah, they're the same at least. Um, SEO difficulty, right? So I would, com you, if you're using this platform, then use this in conjunction with Mozbar. So you'd actually go to um, the search itself, turn on Mozbar, and that'll probably give you, if you use both of them, a little bit better idea. And then if you do the all in title, all in URL. I want to see what AREF says about. Um, yeah, let's have a look at that. So keywords. We, like, we're, we're just big. We're not big on using metrics, especially competition metrics like SEO difficulty or So you can see right KD. here, you know, so Neil is saying SEO Denver, which you would... is easy, but you, it's... You would generally think that's a pretty hard keyword because yeah, you're going it's... up against other SEOs, mm -hmm. right? So Neil's like, yeah, that's no problem. You can do it, bud. <laughs> yeah, but that wouldn't you come be up an A refs And A refs is like, uh, I'm not so sure about that, Neil. Uh, yeah. So A refs considers it hard. Which one is right? Uh, I don't really go by this one either. But no, just... let's 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 show them how we would just do it, right? Okay, let me. Uh, um, so yeah, turn on Moz Bar. 
Um, learn more. If you click right. learn more, it'll go to the link. All right. So yeah, this is, you know, looking at keyword difficulty. Um, first, I look at the, uh, you know, the volume up here. Um, then I'm just coming down and Mozbar loads in the DA and the PA, uh, just real quick metrics. I, I normally don't go by Moz, but just being able to see them all directly on the SERP. You can also use A refs. Um, we've, we've never actually tried out the A refs uh, add on. I guess we mm -hmm. should. Yeah. It's probably, I don't know why I'm, I'm still using the Moz more data be better. But anyway, the. Either way, the point of this is just to, to look at it at a quick glance, right? So, um, you know, looking at this at a quick glance, 2,400 a month, it's an SEO term. And, but you see the, the DAs of the sites are actually quite low. Um, well, it depends on your asset, right? Well, de yeah, I guess it depends on, on you and but your, I would, your website. I would say 30 to 60, right, is like where, or they average around like 30. Well, the, the top, uh, the top like five positions are all under forty. So with two of them being under thirty. Yeah, I would. I, I would, would still give this medium uh, competition. Like you can't be a newbie and just come in here and get an yeah. easy ranking. You know, it's going to take months um, from a fresh website. If this was our website and we were going after these terms, I would. Yeah, feel pretty comfortable. Uh, yeah, I'd feel pretty comfortable. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's I I I don't like the. Um, I don't like these little ratings that they give. I actually like to look at it myself. And um, if I wanted to look into it a little bit further, I would actually want to know uh, like the referring domain count of these, um, which in a refs, I don't yeah, think you... they actually tell you here because yeah. this is the, um, this is for the actual URL, I think, and not the domain. Which yeah. I don't know why they but do you it get like an that. idea of overall power. Yeah, I would actually use. And you can use UR as an indicator of what that inner page's um, value is. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you can just look at DR as well. Um, but yeah, I, I actually, I, maybe I'm old school. I actually like to see the RD count. Yeah, same. Um, I feel a lot more comfortable knowing the RD rather than something like DA or I will DR. say I'm more interested in the RD of the overall website, though, um, because even some of those massive websites with, you know, 1500 RD that don't have any going to that inner page are still going to beat out a lot of people. Um, and then furthermore, if we go back to keyword research, um, one last thing we can do is the all in title and all in URL, um, uh, yeah. just to figure out how many people are using that either in their title or using Denver SEO in their, um, I like to do it in quotes to but, get it exact. Well, yeah, so then it has to be in that order as mm -hmm. well. Right. Um, about 2000. Yeah. Which isn't, I mean, that's not, that's not really that crazy. Yeah, I don't know. The, the it's Neil definitely Patel not thing. easy, though. Um, so yeah, that'd be the only pitfall to maybe trusting something like that. I mean, this. I guess if you don't want to pay like the $5 or whatever for keywords everywhere, um, the free Neil Patel thing is better. I just, uh, I really like my workflow to be like on the actual SERP, right? There's just so much information yeah, here. For sure. Um, rather than being on his uh, platform that's very good looking, but it just doesn't have everything you'd want. Yeah, regardless of what you use, just, you know, be sure to compound it with other tools as well or other concepts. Um, don't ever just trust one platform to tell you exactly what you need to go after. Otherwise, everybody would use the same platform and we'd all have the same data and same info. Um, so, you know, just know that if you do use this, um, use it for metrics like uh, search volume and things like that and then uh, Keyword ideas are not loading. Anyway, um, you know, maybe maybe the Neil Patel thing, maybe Uber Suggest is good for like beginners. Um, yeah. All right. Yeah. It's you know. If, yeah, they don't have to pay any money. It's completely free. Just don't you, trust everything. Yeah. On yeah. That. Yeah. Maybe don't look at like the difficulty or whatever. But you know, you, you might be able to get some additional keyword ideas and stuff like that if you don't want to uh, use the the workaround method of, you know, doing it for free in Google AdWords or, or yeah, if you don't want to pay $5 for keywords everywhere, but, uh, it's not a tool that I, I don't think any like serious SEOs are using, uh, Uber suggest. <laughs> 
Do you the know, ones, do you the know ones in our sub niche of SEO. No, I think that's um, you know the big white hat guys with venture capital that. Uh, I want to know if like anyone in charge of an SEO team for a serious like company is actually using Uber Suggest. No. They do because uh, so? yeah, Ryan's been telling me about all these <laughs> nightmare type oh, clients that he's got. I guess they just they. It's for the it's the big corporate ones that you know Neil Patel is the guy, <laughs> and you are the guy. If you happen to watch this video, we're huge fans and. Uh, we're looking for VC too. We're so. huge fans of your <laughs> of your success. Yeah, you're well. Yeah, he's out there. He's everywhere. My dad knows who Neil Patel is, and he thinks I'm a, I'm a loser. I guess yeah. he googled SEO and he saw him. Yeah, he's winning. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Be sure to check the description below for links to our blog for more info on this topic, along with a bunch of other cool stuff like case studies, our Facebook community, and our link building services. And like always, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell if you enjoyed the video. Thanks and happy ranking.